So hey guys, we're in Incredible John's account right now. We're doing a small account takeover uh, for Incredible John. He needs help with his clan boss team. So he is doing the one man eater, one pay in keeper team right now. And he had some difficulties in just get, getting that stun to be always on the slow target, on the slow boy. So we're gonna go over and see his account, uh, his champions that he has for that setup and see what's needed to be changed. Hopefully we don't need to change all that much. We're doing this live on Twitch. So guys, if you don't know, I <laughs> stream live on Twitch a couple times every week. Uh, I usually skip Wednesdays and Thursdays, but we'll see. <laughs> so there's a link down in the description if you're ever interested in uh, following me on Twitch and watching me live, do the takeovers, talk to the chat. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> let's get on with the takeover. The idea behind this setup, guys, if you haven't seen my video before, you should check that out, is that Manitary is going to give protection to the whole team during the AoE turns, but during the stun turn, you know, the, the, the turn where the boss just smacks one champion, stuns them instead of doing an AoE. During that turn, you need to have a target that's slow enough for his uh, unkillable buff uh, and block block debuff buff to, to remain on him. So... Um, Manity right now it should be at 254 or 253 works for me I, I think this should work he's got over 2800 defense which I think is cool 45,000 health is a bit high but I don't think that should be an issue let's check Painkeeper next Painkeeper is at a uh, 2000 defense that's not bad 240 speed that's correct 34,000 health. I wish this was a bit higher. Um, maybe we can get this a bit higher with some more some more stats, but I don't think we... Maybe we can replace the ring and amulet with some more health. Uh, and then I think his stun target is Grave Chill Killer. She's got 49,000 health. 1, 2, 4 speed. That's it, 1.6k defense there. Yo, The Chosen. Uh, I'm helping out Incredible John with his team. Just looking around to see uh, what kind of changes we can do to his team um, to make it work. So, so okay. Painkeeper seems to be okay. She's a bit on the, the low side in terms of uh, health. So, I might even go more health there, but she's going to be losing... Losing a ton of defense, I do not want that. Let's see if we've got a, a health amulet. I don't think so. Quickly check. No way. Okay, we... We might be able to get... Uh, it's, it's hard to replace defense there. Okay. So, we'll come back to Painkeeper later. Let's see Grave Chill Killer. She's a slow target. She's got a bit high HP, but as long as it's higher than everyone else and her defense is lower than everyone else, it should work. Then we check on Frozen Banshee. 1.8k defense, 29k health. Seems good. Yeah, I checked. I checked the HP necklaces. Uh, you didn't have any. So one, two. Who is the other DPS? Is it? Who is the other poisoner you have? Occult? No. Occult should be one of your poisoners. Um. Yeah, I think it's Althar, your other poisoner.
You do lack masteries on some of them? Who? Seem to be okay here. Masteries on this one are okay. I, I don't like Life Drinker, but it's it's fine. It's not like we have choices. So let's remove the gear since he's gonna be the stun target versus Spirit. Spirit hates, hates uh, force. So... <laughs> So, uh, let's see, let's see. How much speed do we have now? 117, we need 124. 124, okay. Let's find some... Trying to skip the defense. Let's remove this amulet since it has uh, defense. We're doing okay on accuracy. HP, we need definitely need more. Uh, we can find some HP boots. One seventeen. So now I'm trying to find a necklace without any defense on. Two gigged. I'm gonna check it right after I. Uh, yeah, it, it was. It was my girlfriend. Yeah, she went in the kitchen to to get food. I guess. So we need six more speed. Let's try and find it from a weapon. Uh, just see, I wish I could just type in the number you guys know in, in the filter it's a plus five do we have glyphs we need some HP as well so Hmm. Not an easy choice here. So we're at one, two, four. We need a plus two to get us. Oh, we don't have speed. Great. Okay. Go back. Go back. We need to find a plus plus seven weapon. Just to make it easier for us. Uh, oh, it's going to be tough. Plus seven weapon. Plus eight. Ten. Plus eight. Plus six. Oh, come on. Yo, Wasted Dane. No worries. Uh, I'm just... Yeah, she, she was stealing my chips. Uh, I'm just doing the, the same team here. Yeah, the Maniter plus one Painkeeper. Right, guys. So we've built Althar as the stun target. Since the clan boss currently is Spirit. Spirit hates Force. So it's definitely going to go for Althar. Uh, right off the bat, he's got... I think the most amount of health out of everyone 46,000 health 1.5k defense 124 speed yo Tulok thanks for the gifts up uh, thanks man and 124 speed 283 accuracy just to get that extra bit of damage going he's fully maxed out so he should be doing some damage let's quickly check the masteries on everyone so that we don't have any subscribe Surprises. Painkeeper doesn't have masteries. Maniter doesn't have masteries. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Banshee has masteries and they're okay. Okay. And, yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, I think. 
I think we should be fine. The idea behind getting an affinity stun target is just get the weak target going in there as a stun target. So spirit, you would take a force, force slow target to go in there. And for let's say magic, you would go with a spirit slow target, or you can still go with, you know, a magic slow target like he had grave chill killer before. But she was not working and I think she had just uh, too much defense compared to the others. 1.6k compared to the others. I think the others had very close uh, defense to her. But um, yeah, I think, we sh I think we should be okay. And just go in and try and see what happens in the clan boss. So... Let's go in, we're gonna change, we're gonna put Arthur there in the lead, just in case. Where's, uh, there he is. There's a cold brawler, so this is gonna be the team guys. I'm gonna show you the rotation if anyone's interested. So the rotation goes, very simple. Uh, wait, let me remember. It's very simple, but I forgot. Okay, I think we go right off the bat with with this then we go with the cooldown reduction <laughs> it's very simple but I forgot yeah yeah we go a3 let's just go a1 here a1 let's just go a2 a1 here so few poisons ooh a1 A1 and now painkeepers A2 should heal everyone to a higher percentage health than everyone else so as we see here um, painkeeper is a bit higher Althar is a bit lower than everyone else so we should be fine in terms of the stun target there we go Althar gets the stun Yeah, let's just press auto from here on and we're gonna see if this actually works right off until the end uh without masteries on two champions damage isn't gonna be much yeah i know but as long as it works for him then he should be happy and then he can work on that get the masteries on those two champions get that extra bit of damage the damage is not gonna be all that high i don't know why we got stunned there We need to get Painkeeper with more health. But uh, yeah, she got stunned there. For some reason. That was so weird. Yeah, she gets wrecked there. There's so many targets, but he goes for her instead. Yeah, we need to get some more health. Yo, Razlev! What's up, man? She didn't use her A2 before the stun? Oh, please tell me she's booked. I didn't check if she was booked. Okay guys, we try to fix the painkeeper. Um, she's a bit more health now. She actually lost a bit, a bit of defense, but I think we are in a better position now than before. Because I watched the replay and it was very barely the same health. I'm in Incredible John's account. Uh, bad thing is he doesn't have much resources for me to work with. So I'm just gonna try and do my best here to get... Uh, to get the team going I'm a bit I'm a bit worried about painkeeper she's she's the second lowest in health and she shouldn't be that low in health um, because she's she's in danger basically might as well use the rest of that coin yeah but I don't have any gear to upgrade so 
we could drop what should we drop you could drop this ring but he doesn't have any rings he has like three rings available the attack one i could put on the attack ring on but i think bella wears his farmer Yeah, Bellow is his farmer, so he's gonna be messed up a bit. Check for flood stats. Yeah, he doesn't have. I think we're fine. Yeah, flusters are fine, depending if you got the speed there. Trade Lysandra for, si for silver, yeah. By the way, he could have done like the, the rush and killable. He's got two rushes actually. I'm not sure if there's a two rush and killable. The problem with the Russian killable is uh, on affinity, but he's got a bad L. But L can work, right? Can cleanse. Anyway, he already built this. Oh, he also he also has a Santa. Yeah, he could have done that. Uses gems to buy silver. Uses what gems? <laughs> we don't have gems, guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go and try uh, where we failed before Was during the second boss stun so that's that's the tricky part here um, We're just gonna go in the second time now and see I uh, get it this auto so the rotation is a3 a3 Poisons Then we do a one a one a one a two now with pain keeper for the heal and then the stun should go on Althar. Guys, when I'm doing these setups, every time I see the boss going for the stun, I'm like, oh, oh it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. It worked now, but we're gonna need to see the second rotation, so let's put it on auto and, and uh, see where this takes us. Go to the 9 to 5 dungeon. Yeah, actually, Incredible John is at work right now, so he's actually at the 9 to 5 dungeon. <laughs> I should tell him. I've got some echo. Yeah, I need to fix my my audio, man. There's some issues with it. There we go. Okay, second stun was okay. We need to pass turn 10 for me to be okay with the, the setup. To feel confident that it's not gonna mess up. See, we're so close here. Oh, that was so close. Did you see? Did you, you see her health? She was so close. He heals because of life, life drinker. He's got life drinker and I can't remove it. I don't have the gems. So, life drinker, ideally you don't have it on your slow target. So see, he gains a bit of health when he attacks. But now I think we should be fine. Like, yeah, look how, look how close the percentages are. Very close. Yeah, it's, 
Who would you swap for Venus? Any of the damage dealers works. You can even have Venus as the slow target, but she's going to be so hard to be the slow target. She's got a very high base. Uh, very high base. So any damage dealers work. It's basically Maniter plus Painkeeper in this setup. Every time he goes for the stun, I'm worried. I'm worried that it's going to fail because he told me he spent a ton of his gems on trying to do this to work and i'm just i have it on the back of my mind like when is it gonna fail now but uh yeah i'm not jinxing it by the way we don't have masteries on maniter and painkeeper so the damage is gonna be quite low i hope for 20 million here but we're gonna see we got quite a few poisons going on the boss which is nice I'm hoping for 20 million though. So turn 18, if we go to 50, if we go the complete route, if we finish correctly, then ideally we should be double this. 25 plus? Um, you think? Yeah, I should get over 20 because we've got 10 million on turn 20. So 20 at turn 40. So 25. Yeah, I know, but uh, we, we've got force affinity on Althar so he might get you know bad luck with his uh poisons yo john you here man all you need is a manitair yeah manitair is so good phoenix looks like it's working uh yeah it was it's so close though because if you see the video um painkeeper look at that heal from althar so painkeeper is like so close to getting stunned in terms of percentage health oh cold brawler is doing nice poisons by the way So it's working 15 million at turn 30. I don't think it's gonna fail from now on. So clan boss targets even when unkillable is up. The stupid spiralings AI isn't even that dumb. Uh actually the spiralings AI works like this also. At least on Paragon. The first time around but they change target sometimes yeah yo incredible john <laughs> the nine to five dungeon i was i was telling to the stream the other day like the best way to farm items in this game is the nine to five dungeon so we mean just going to work getting money and then just buying stuff from raid using that money to buy gear is the fastest way because <laughs> you go to work from nine to five <laughs> you tried the paragon cheese which youtube video man it's a very efficient dungeon actually it's the most efficient one but you have like uh opportunity cost you know Am I going to not eat this month in order to buy that gear in Raid Shadow Legends or or what? <laughs> so the team's working fine. Uh, we're closing into 20 million at turn 39. There we go. And we should get another five or so. So three key territory.
49 turn 49 who said 25 plus let's go and it's down 26 no so guys 25.91 million damage we actually managed to do it now on the second key the problem was painkeeper's health she was a bit low on the low side in terms of health uh she was very close right after um right before the boss was gonna stun so yeah you told me exactly 25 million i was worried because of Althar, but Althar, when it's not affinity he does like i think he does like eight or nine million and if you've got a, a weaken and defense down he can go up to 11 so look at that with painkeeper and manita without any masteries we got 25.91 so that's pretty cool pretty cool right